Capture and hold location near Hell Gas Spawn area. As this is primarily a defensive maneuver, we recommend that you choose the Engineer, Turret, Proximity Mines, LS-13, and M4. Alternatively, you could use the Assault class, Body Armor, Proximity Mines, VC-9, and M4. Starting on the Hell Gas side as the Engineer, move down the ramp directly to the room that's connected to it. At the bottom of the stairwell is the Hellgast capture and hold point. You can actually capture it on the stairwell if you want to remain there. We recommend that you deploy a turret facing the main hallway as ISA soldiers are most likely to come down that way. Their other alternative is through the window there, so throw proximity mines in the front to deter them. Once this is done, you probably want to uh, go back upstairs. I mean, obviously these are the areas that they're coming from first, but your best protection and defensive capabilities are on the stairwell, as you do maintain control, but it is more difficult for them to come up. The alternate route is through the back. Most players will not access that. ISA soldiers might also try and climb across from the second floor on the other side. There's a balcony that they can reach on there and actually jump through the opening. So watch that once in a while, but not a primary concern. As said before, stay on the landing here. Make sure you're watching proximity mines and the actual turrets. Replace them as they get destroyed and simply maintain control. When available, deploy your second turret at the top of the first flight of stairs overlooking the actual capture point. This is going to provide additional defensive power against those ISA forces coming through the hallway. They will encounter the first turret, possibly into the proximity mines, and then will face the second turret at the top of the stairs there. Once you have both turrets and the proximity mines deployed, return to the stairs and periodically check the top to make sure the ISA forces aren't trying to flank you. Replace either the turrets or the proximity mines as they become disposed of by ISA forces or just naturally expire. When using the Assault class setup, you're limited in your overall defensive capabilities. With the proximity mines, you're going to want to lay them sort of at the entrance of the hallway and where players that are accessing the window are likely to run. You're going to replace them as they are actually disposed of by ISA enemy players that run over them. You can actually watch for other players coming through the window through the actual crack of the actual stairwell. Use the M4, avoid using the VC9 or you're likely to blow yourself up. Similarly, you're going to want to go upstairs and check periodically to make sure that other players aren't trying to flank your position by either the alternative route in the back or through the actual second level window. Just keep watching back and forth, stay on the stairwell as you maintain control. If you are ISA, you're going to use similar class and ability setups as the Hellgas, which is Engineer, Turret, Proximity Mines, LS-13 and M4, or the Assault class, Body Armor, Proximity Mines, VC-9 and the M4. Approach the capture and hold point from the right side via the connecting bridge. Watch for Hellgas players that are approaching from the left via the connecting room there where their search and destroy targets are up top because they'll be throwing grenades or shooting you. If there's no proximity mines directly in front of the capture and hold point, we recommend that you throw all three there as Hellgas players are likely to come down the stairs and run directly into them. Next, deploy your first turret at the window facing the actual capture and hold point. This will provide defensive power from those that are coming down the stairs trying to actually stand in front of the capture and hold point or approach from the left side. Once you've deployed the first turret and laid the proximity mines, you're going to actually want to go underneath the stairs as this provides cover from majority of the Hellgas players approaching the capture and hold point with a direct view of Hellgas players approaching from the hallway. We do not recommend that you go up the stairs as this is a very volatile area. Using the alternate assault class for the ISA forces, you're going to approach using the right connecting bridge as well. Watch for Hellgas players up at the top, those that come from the left, and those actually that are peering underneath the stairs. If there are turrets or proximity mines, launch a VC-9 directly into the area. You can climb in through the window, 
or another alternative is actually come through the hallway, but make sure that you actually dispose of any turrets and proximity mines. Because your resources are limited, we recommend that you throw your proximity mines at the top of the stairway. This is going to deter any hell gas from coming down off the ramp, and most of them will access it via that route. Once you've deployed your proximity mines, go underneath the stairs as this provides the best cover from hell gas soldiers approaching your position. You can easily blow up any hell gas approaching from the hallway.